As somebody studying quantum mechanics, I was struck by the beauty of the mathematics. H psi equals E psi, the, the Hamiltonian, and uh, the way in which that all describes exquisitely in the form of a second order differential equation how matter and energy work. And Maxwell's equation about electromagnetism. Simple, beautiful. So how did I jump from that into something as messy as human biology? I think the link was DNA because it was still simple in a way. I mean, it's structure, this beautiful double helix, this idea that the information necessary to create a human being from a single cell could somehow be encoded in this script, which is not infinite in size. It's big, but it's not infinite. That with three billion letters of this code, you could build a brain and all the other parts of a human that still is both awesome and beautiful. And so I can't look at that script without having that reaction over and over again. So maybe that helped me because that was, at least on the surface of it, simple and elegant, almost like an equation. Yeah. But what it led to was complex and elegant. And they were both beautiful. Yeah. I mean, as you moved on in your career, you, you, you moved into more leadership roles, both with the Human Genome Project and then at NIH. And as you moved away from bench science, did you find yourself encountering other forms of beauty in working with people and with teams and large collaborations? Is there a different kind of beauty there in science? There is. Even before getting to that, I found there was beauty in the clinical practice of medicine. I invested myself pretty heavily in learning how to be a physician and spending time at the bedside of people who were struggling with very difficult issues and being put in this position of intimacy with people that normally would not happen with someone you had only just met that afternoon who maybe now is talking about the most important considerations in their life, sometimes including their faith, right there in front of you. And that was a beautiful example of how people can really reach out and touch each other. And I loved that experience, although it had that same kind of aching component to it, a feeling inadequate somehow to be able to really fill the needs of many of those people who are in a very needy state. And then certainly moving more into the scientific arena, starting with my own lab, which was maybe a small group of eight or 10 people, but then turning that into the Genome Project, which was 2,400 people in six countries, <laughs> quite a bit of a scale up. Yeah. That also had its moments of joyful relationships and a beauty to what it looks like to have a team like that of people with diverse backgrounds, different languages, different skills, all attached to the same historic goal of being able to read out for the first time this instruction book yeah. for human life, which nobody could say was unimportant. 